I'm gonna work on uh, Billy's sword a little bit here. Gonna clean up the lines on it and sharpen it. So I think I'm gonna take it to the one by 30 for now, just to take down this blunted edge and then move over to hand sanding to give it a more uniform finish and a cleaner finish. I'm going to tape off some of it. It's got a Ricasso, which I'm not a fan of on this style of blade, but I don't want to spend all the time it's going to take to blend that or bring that down, so I'm going to tape it off uh, and create some sharp lines for it. Lean into the Ricasso. All right, so I've taped off everything except for the section of the blade that I want to bring the sharpening in on and where I want to set my ridge lines or my plunge lines, depending on how you want to talk about it. Anyway, this one and the center line and bring in this edge. All I'm trying to do here is blend in the one to two millimeter edge, which is really hard to catch actually. Let's see if this does it. There we go. I'm trying to blend the one to two millimeter edge in, and you can see I'm bringing it down, and then I'll blend that. It's not sharp, but it's also lost its blunt edge. So let's see what this does. It's a very dirty cut, but it's starting to cut already. So I can move up the grit with the belt sander, but I think I'm actually going to do hand sanding on this because I'd like to make sure I can control the uh, lines as cleanly as possible. And again, it's hard to see, but uh, I have put in a pretty uniform start. I'm going to have to make a few passes on the back side just to match it up to this one. It's almost there, and then I can start hand sanding to blend it and give it a uniform finish.
All right, so the hand sanding I'm going to do is going to come across it off the blade and then change direction, different grits, actually coming this way. Got my angle slightly off, so I gotta clean that up. Gotta keep it uniform. So some of the issues I'm having, it's going well, but some of the issues I'm having are that it's got wave to it from the hand forging of it. So I'm going off the block and moving to just some hand sanding just to give it a more of a uniform finish. So I've got to get a way, I've got to have a way to get into the little dips from the waves. I'm not bringing this up to a mirror polish because it's going to get used. So I'm going to keep it at a cutting polish. So a satin finish, maybe 600, 800. And I'm probably going to put a micro bevel for the edge so it's easier to sharpen afterwards. So this is after about an hour. That's getting hot to touch almost for friction. An hour of hand sanding just this one quarter of the blade. Just two grits. That's all I've gone through. Getting much more uniform in finish. It's hard to see in the wrong light there. That's a better idea. And the edge is appearing. <laughs> 